Hello, friendos. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Shanna, and we are here with day five of our NOM Native American Heritage Month vlog along. And if you have not already done all the things that I'm supposed to tell you to do, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell on, leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and of course, follow all of our lovely friends who are also participating in the NOM vlog along officially. And if you're participating as well, please let us know down below so we can come watch your vlog alongs. And of course, you might notice that this looks a little bit different than normal. You're getting a behind the scenes right away. And we're going to switch over to a little bit of a PNG tuber action because I <laughs> messed up and the video is a little messed up for this, which is okay because our question for today is perfect for a little bit of a VTuber action to get you a little bit in the mood for what our question is. Don't ask. Don't ask. Behind the scenes, you saw we were playing with vodka, hanging out with her, and uh, having a little bit of a downtime gaming time with friendos and snacks, which was really nice. But today's nom vlog along question. Are you guys ready for this? This is the question that I submitted. Share your favorite scary story from your culture or share your favorite folklore. You guys know I'm a story girl. I love stories and especially scary stories. And there's a lot of really good folklore in traditional indigenous culture. And there's a lot of really good horror and scary folklore as well. And even in Cherokee culture as well. Now, some of it, I don't know. And a lot of it, I don't know. Some of it, I do. And there's a specific story that I do want to share with you guys today. And I really hope that you also take the time to listen to some of the stories that some of the other creators are going to share with you. Some of them might not share some scary stories. Some of them might. And there are some stories that are sacred and are protected and that we are not supposed to talk about and we are not supposed to share and I think that's okay as well. Some of these stories would make incredible games, some of them would make incredible movies, some of them I think are so important that we share. They're meant to teach lessons, they're meant to teach history and it is such an incredible incredible way to do those things some of them are just meant to be scary as are stories from other cultures this one in particular you decide tell me what you think about it it goes back before the trail of tears pre-trail of tears, we're back in the mountains. This one is in the deep shadowed hollows of the Cherokee Mountains. In the deep shadowed hollows of the Cherokee Mountains, there's a tale of Spearfinger. A creature with a heart as cold as stone. She appears as an old woman, her face wrinkled and her hands twisted with age. But her eyes burn with a hunger that no one can ignore. Spearfinger is known for her long razor sharp finger, which juts from her hand like a spear. It's said that she uses it to hunt children. Her sharp nail cutting through their flesh with ease. She doesn't need to eat their flesh. She craves only their liver, which she plucks out with surgical precision, leaving no trace but a dried husk of a body. At night, the mist settles in the woods. You can hear her soft wheezing breath as she sneaks into the homes of the unwary. She'll creep close, her finger standing silently, slipping between the cracks in the door 
or window. The unlucky ones who wander too far into the woods are the ones who she's after. Children who don't know the danger of wandering too close to the old woman's domain. Beware, the elders say, if you feel a cold chill on the back of your neck, or if your breath catches in your chest, it's already too late. She's coming, and Spearfinger never leaves without her prize. So that's just one. Like I said, there's a lot, and I think these would make great video games too, like I said, and they would be so fun to play through. I would absolutely love, one of the goals that I, I have for in Digi Horror Squad is to unite streamer with the video game developer world and the writers and the graphic designers and the movie creators and kind of marry that all together so that way we can get some more indigenous creators together and get these stories out there because I think it would be so cool so cool to see more of this in media from real indigenous creators and get us more involved in that I would just I would really love to see that I would really love to see that but definitely go listen to some of these stories from the other creators. I'm excited to hear what stories they tell. And if you have a story you think I should read, tell me in the comments or send it to me with permission to read it at the T-H-E Shanna S-H-A-N-A Lee L-E-I-G-H at gmail.com. Of course, do all the things that I'm supposed to tell you to do. Like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell on. And we will see you in tomorrow's video. You can always go watch some more vlogs, watch some more gaming videos, watch some other videos, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Remember, you're awesome, and we love you. Bye!